What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Jemaya's World. And I've been getting so many questions. You know, Castle Jakenstein, Jemaya, what's the big deal? What's going on with these special keys, the free elites, the potions, taking the right pathway? Well, we're going to talk about this right now. Regardless of which way you go and the route that you take, you're going to have to do all of them anyway to get everything that's needed as far as potions and stuff. It's just for the fact that if you choose the right way, it'll weaken, it, it'll weaken the, um, the difficulty of the other levels. Pretty much you're going to be able to see that through after we go through this right here. We get a top one and uh, Taylor Lewan is our free elite um, at 85 stars. They're going to continue to show you more stuff continuously with the potions. Like I told you guys, I am going to save all of everything that I do until the end. I've received a lot of questions about it. Like, yo, Jemaya, why don't I have enough of this? I told you guys, don't spend anything yet. Now, look. Right here, what we're looking at is the Creaky Corridor, and then you got the Gridiron Graveyard that just unlocked. So if you've been going through uh, Escape from uh, Castle Jakenstein, you would have been able to unlock that with the key as of October 26th, 2020. So because we didn't do the Creaky Corridor before, we're going to run through that now and start to talk about some of the things that are going to be coming forward. Because some of you guys are like, yo, what do I expect? What are the things that I like throughout the process? Um, you know, through, so far through most feared and everything like that. So I'm going to give you pretty much the highlights to the end of each challenge and then we'll go through it like that. So number one, one of my major issues, and I know many of you guys would agree with me, where are our uniforms? Like one of the biggest things is swag. When, when we're playing a game, you know what? I don't play the yard, but I like the fact that the yard is going in the right direction as far as like swag, accessories and things like that. I believe that they're too focused on that mode, like adding Giannis and all the stupidness. They need to make us get some like, you know, we need some dope uniforms. We don't even have like the Colorist jersey, uh, jerseys yet, which is kind of stupid in my opinion. Um, maybe they're working for the next, you know, working on the next gen, but that really isn't an excuse because regardless of what you're working on, this is still a relatively new game. And, you know, Xbox One and PS4 are still considered next gen consoles, even though, you know, the Xbox, the new Xbox is out, PS5 is on the horizon. That's no excuse. So I feel that, uh, you know, I'm in agreement uh, with you guys. Some of you guys uh, brought it up as well. Uniforms are a big deal. They could have already had it released and then just let us pick our uniforms or, you know, play house rules for it or something like that. That's one of the biggest L's that I believe is going on right now with this promo. Uh, looking at Scary Strong, I don't think many of us expected much from that. Uh, scary Fast is always usually the best part of it. So for those of you guys that are wondering like, yo, this is lackluster, I agree uh, to an extent because Aaron Donald was the best card out of the, mo you know, the most recent release. And I expected that. I warned you guys about it. Like, yo, dude, the Scary Strong, EA, the way that they've been doing stuff with the gameplay itself, um, they have to make sure that they gear the releases towards that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it really matters, you know, what would have happened with Scary Strong, but we all know that speed is like crazy this year. And if you get somebody super fast and put them at, you know, a different position, you know, trying to get a, a, a wide receiver in that tight end, that's a game changing situation. So we all understand the seriousness of the speed, which is why I tell you guys, just relax and chill out. It's gonna get more exciting later on. It's just that we have to find our ways through it. So. Right now, what I'm doing, like I told you guys, I'm going through the challenges and just showing you guys exactly what I do uh, at the end of it to just go through, make sure you get all four stars. Some of you were asking about the difficulty. Keep in mind, my Madden vets and, um, you know, even people that don't really like challenges, some of you guys are doing it because, you know, I told you, I grind too, all right? But I also get bundles, you know, we bring the pack goddess out. But this, to me, was one of, one of the more exciting parts of Madden, especially going back to when it was always full games and it was just boring. They've done a lot, they've, they've done a lot. They've listened to feedback and this is very, very creative, the whole Jakenstein thing. Um, so I know it's like kind of weird, like, yo, we're grown men out here trying to escape from Castle Jakenstein, but we're gonna be grown men with a lot of free stuff. You know what I'm saying, bro? So when these dudes are like, oh yeah, you guys grinding solos, all the stuff you grind in house rules, yeah, don't worry about it. We're not gonna have to put as much in to get a card. You know, a lot of dudes running around, you know, with their parents' credit card, doing whatever, just spending. Yeah, it's cool sometimes to go after certain cards. Like, once they release Randy Moss, like it's on and popping, but at the end of the day, we have to all understand, right? Whichever way we can grind the game and get it out of the way, and especially with these, these challenges are very, very quick, but you know, with some of the other ones from, um, you know, the bone, what is it, the bone, the boneyard, graveyard, or whatever, uh, the other one was that when you're gonna get the free 90 overall at 135 stars, they haven't updated that one yet. 
but I'm just letting you guys know this whole escape from Jakenstein if you play it right and you get the right cards like the right elites because remember it's an 83 to 87 several parts um, you're gonna be good you're gonna be all set with a lot of the things so I'm showing you guys more of the potions you unlock and everything and I'm not doing anything with them they are just sitting in my binder patiently this is a four part program so anybody that's rushing to complete a set there goes another key the cathedral key you see how it says right here um, it would have uh, unlocked the uh, the cavernous cathedral and weakened the foes within we had already took the other route so now this key for us doesn't really mean as much um, you know that's what probably made them a little bit more you know difficult but we had already um, I believe gone uh, through that situation so like if you pick the right route you'll be able to complete something get something to make the other ones a little bit less difficult um, if some of you guys are worried about the difficulty, but even on the hardest level, these challenges are not very difficult. Uh, so I would tell you that, like if it was something where it's like, yo, what is this? You know, what, what are they doing? The only one, like I told you, no guts, no glory, uh, part of the other, um, the other graveyard, the, the separate one from this, that is an absolute joke because they, they, you have to get really lucky. You have to get lucky and get a sack and then get a fumble after the sack because they don't count the strip fumble sack as both. So it's like weird, and I don't know if they've updated it. Um, I didn't even contact them about it because some of you guys said that you passed it. So, I, you know, I'm like, like, yo, look, I'm garbage. Like, dude, I suck at the game, I guess. So I'm not going to, unless it's something that a lot of you guys are telling me, like, look, this is ridiculous. Yo, fix this. Some of you guys, are, you know, sided with me that it was ridiculous and it took you hours to complete. But the key word is you were able to complete it because what happens is the game is designed for the QB not to fumble. So that's part of what they're doing. I don't think, however, that that segment of it is going to be that huge because we're going to get our free 90 overall and everything else after that, that's not involved with the potions and stuff. It's just this Castle Jakenstein thing. So even if we get something, like I said, at the end, that's a gnat or whatever it is, we're going to be able to utilize that in different ways. So I just have to go ahead and let you guys understand that. Like, look, regardless of what everybody else is doing, we're going to do it this way, hold on to everything, and then just wait because everything for the most part is gonna be nat anyway, so there's really no rush. Just to make sure everything adds up. Because one, one thing you know, once you start using one potion and then EA messes up with this potion, or you might get lucky and they might give you extra stuff. A lot of you guys made out like bandits uh, with that 150 pack earlier and was able to get uh, you know these, these new strong players uh, relatively cheaply. So they're gonna do things that are weird, all right, throughout this process, and we just have to be there for it. That's pretty much all we have to do. And this is a part of the process. So I know, you know, pre pre predominantly um, my no money spent players, you guys are just having a ball right now. Because I'm telling you, before this, I didn't like what they were doing as far as the no money spent players. I was really, really against what they were doing. I didn't like the way that it was like, all right, yo, look, just spend your money, dude. Like everything, just spend your money. Right now, this is going to give a lot of players the opportunity to not only understand the game a little bit more, but get some more out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like be able to see, you know, get some get some higher overall elites. In addition to this though, guys, I have to remind you again, make sure you're getting that legend uh, challenge done and keeping up with the legend challenges. I still have not done it up to this point where I'm doing this video. So it's a lot of things that you grinders are gonna get that's coming very soon, but it's a process. All right, so that's what I'm saying. It's a process. You got, you got to put the time into it, but with each one of these gridiron situations, the gridiron graveyard that goes into uh, Castle Jakenstein, one of the main questions I was asked, um, you know, Jima, how long is it taking? These are, bro, like it's 10 challenges for 40 stars each segment. I would say each one is like 30 minutes. That's, you know, let me know if you agree with that, like about 30 minutes, because everything is so fast. And even the ones that you have to finish the game out, you just chew the clock and do whatever uh, the bonus requirements are, you know, early. And then that's pretty much it. So it's relatively fast. If EA continues to do the challenges like this, it's going to be very, very little for grinders in Madden Ultimate Team to complain about. I'm just letting you guys know that right now, because the way that this is set up, this is actually what much should be. Because if they give us the challenges like that, it's not like a, you know, a 30 day process. And then they make everything random anyway, you know, 83 to 87, or they make it high overall. The challenges, in my opinion, will be a lot more exciting, a lot more fun, and you just get it over with. All right. So this right here, I got to give EA kudos for it. Just the way that it's all set up. Uh, very, very quick, efficient. 
you get you get the job done and you're just over it's it's over um that's the way that it should be um you know inside of these challenges it shouldn't be like oh my god i gotta go play into the challenge you see what i'm saying it should be quick processes like this so i, I you know i think that they're leaning away from the full game foolishness but maybe uh we'll see how that continues to go uh, as we continue in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. So that's everything for the more current um, key that we that was released today. Now you're going to see more of the stuff that comes. That's 145 stars. You got more red potions. And now we go twist and path pack again. With this, I'm going to do something that I feel is the best route. And I'm actually going to be right because I'm going to be able to do something before you guys can. So if you pick the, uh, the mausoleum path, you're going to be able to go ahead uh, before doing the stairway and then go back to it and probably be able to weaken whatever the um, the difficulty is in the way that it's set up. So this was probably the better play. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see what's going on with it. Um, hopefully I got it out soon enough for a lot of you guys. Many of you guys are probably still at work watching the video. So when you get home, you'll know that it's probably better to go ahead and do this. Um, it's going to skip down past the other one. So you'll have two segments now which is another 80 stars that you go ahead and complete. Here goes some more free elites. And I just showed you the other free potions that we got. So I like um, the mausoleum uh, going there first. I think that you probably should go that route too and then go back and then uh, play the other one after because it works out. So there goes some more uh, blue potions. We are holding everything in our binder. Nothing else should be done right now, but really quickly just show you, we skip over the spiral staircase and we're right at the mausoleum. So hopefully this has been informative. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.